Hey, today I want to talk to you a little bit about how to create a crankshaft so the pistons move up and down correctly. And uh, I've got a tutorial on that. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to, we're just going to use, grab one of our pistons. So let's hide this, and we don't really need the flywheel. So we'll hide this. And uh, so here's, here's my model. What I like to do is I like to, since I know this is what I'm going to be turning, is I like to uh, actually uh, save this. Oh, I've already got it rotated next there. Let's just hit key selected and go to frame one, hit zero, and um, key selected. So now I've got my shaft rotator now. It's just easier than grabbing it every single time to rotate it because I'm going to be picking lots of other stuff. Okay, now, uh, so we've got a crankshaft, and I've got a piston head, and I'm going to hide that for right now, and I've got a piston shaft, so here's my piston shaft, and make sure these pivots are all in the right spot. If you notice, we've got this pivot pivoting right around uh, the center of uh, where it needs to be in the, this crankshaft, so that's important. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to do a point constraint. So I'm actually going to grab this little piece of my crankshaft. It's right in the center, and I need to make sure that its center is exactly in the center of, of that. If you notice, when I move this back, it's exactly in the center of where my crankshaft is. You could always use a locator or something else if you, if you want to. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to select Shift Select my piston, or you can Control Select one of the two. And I'm going to do a point constraint. And I need to, and I'm just going to constrain it in all axis. Let's hit Add. Now what we see when we rotate this around is I've got my uh, the bottom of my piston following uh, where it's supposed to, right here and it's sticking straight up. It's not rotating around it as if I was going to parent it. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to make sure that my piston is aiming at its center right here in the middle. So I'm going to create a couple of locators to do that. So we go to create, locator. So I've got a locator and I'll hit my W key to move my locator. I want to make this bigger, and I'm going to use this using its shape node because I, I, I'm going to be freezing the transformations here in a minute. So we use this shape node, and if I select these and use my middle mouse button, you see it, yeah, how it gets, it gets bigger. And I'm going to move this right exactly in the center here the top of my piston. Let's go to the side view and let's make sure it's right in the center here. Okay, looks good. Now I'm going to freeze these transformations. So we go to modify, uh, freeze transformations. Just make sure they're all there. So we freeze transform. We're all set back to zero. So that's good. All right, I'm going to name this aim locator. And I'm going to uh, duplicate that. And I'm going to name this shaft locator. And I want to parent the shaft locator with my shaft. And I'm just going to do that simply by grabbing it, middle mouse dragging it to my shaft. I could also use, drag it and select it, use the P key. And you notice now it's rotating around with my shaft. Okay, so I'm going to grab now grab my aim locator. This is the thing we're going to aim at. And I'm going to control select my shaft. Go up to constraint and um, aim with the option box. Uh, if we reset the values, you notice the aim vector is in X at 1. Well, I really want it because it's pointing in Y, I want the Y value to be 1. And I'm going to constrain in all axis. Everything else is the same. So we hit Add. 
And now we should have this aiming at this aim constraint right here, which we do. Okay? So that's kind of cool. The thing that's a problem is it's aiming at it, but it's not staying exactly in the middle here uh, in, in our y axis. So it, it aims, so somehow we need to have this move with, with our. Uh, at the top of our piston. So that's why I've got this other locator here. So I'm going to pick my shaft locator and shift select my aim locator so we, if we can point constraint that. Go to strain, constrain, point. And this time we want to constrain it in the y direction so it's only going in the y direction. Let's hit add and if we did this right so our the great thing is now is our aim constraint is now moving up and down. It's constrained in Y, but it's point constraint to our shaft locator. And so it moves exactly the way it needs to. Now, all we need to do now is to, to finish this off is to grab our piston head and unhide that and uh, grab this piston head and I'm going to then um, parent it to that's right the aim locator okay because the aim locator stays straight so I'm just gonna drag that down to the aim locator and if we notice now this piston works just perfectly you just do that to all four of them and have this awesome looking uh, engine working thanks for uh, watching my tutorial